without wasting any time let's start press windows plus x key together to open options then click on search type tskmgr in the search right click on task manager and select run as administrator now pay attention for some users task manager would open in quick mode if it opens in a quick mode like this then you need to click on more details now click on file menu and select run new task now click browse button and follow my screen choose this file in c drive we will need to provide update option before we run it now click at the end and type this update option like this now again pay attention we need to run this to update the libraries so check on this box here and then click on ok now execute gp update command follow my screen this does half of our work here now execute this cls command and now type exit and quit this window close this task manager too in the next step click on search bar type control panel then open control panel from the list make sure you are you are in the large icons panel open administrative tools and open services find for windows update service in the list right click on the item now first click on stop button once um, the service is stopped then click on the startup type drop down and select disabled now this is just the first part of this process okay the problem is still yet to be fixed okay in the next step I'll click on search bar again hmm. where we need to type run click on run application here now type MMC and click on OK which, which will open memory management console let's make this as in the, in the full screen now follow the screen this is going to be a really important step click on add remove snap, snap in now choose group policy object double click on it now this was in the local just click on ok now expand local computer policy now expand administrative templates now navigate um, to windows components just now just scroll down till you find um, an entry for windows update okay there should be configure automatic updates option in the right pane now in this screen we need to click on disabled button and windows updates are not going to bother you again